Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. And in today's video, I'll show you six tips and tricks on the TradingView platform. Number one, having the TradingView app on your desktop. So as you may see here, I'm on an actual app called TradingView and not on the web version. You can see I have the logo right here. So in order to do this, that will work on Windows and Mac. Simply go to those three little dots on Google Chrome, come down to more tools and create shortcut. Simply create the shortcut. I personally just call it TradingView and click on open as a window and that will create an app trading view on your computer. Number two, creating efficient watch lists. So if you are trading FX or trading commodities or different assets, you, you'll know that you can just type it up here. Okay, so you just type in Euro dollar and you'll have the pair. However, if you want to look at many different Forex pairs, if you trade, let's say 20 of them, you need a way to go through them very quickly. So the way to do this is to simply go on, let's say Euro dollar, right click and add to watch list. And so you can basically create several watch lists that you can rename here, create a new list, make a copy of an existing list. And so as you can see, I have, for instance, a Forex list in which I can simply click on the first one and use my arrow keys to go to the next uh, currency pair, which is very efficient in order to scan the market very quickly. Now, I have set up the same with commodities. I've set up the same with cryptos, with currency index. OK, that's very recommended as well uh, for my long term investments, for the fund I'm running with investors, uh, major pairs where my net worth is and my most profitable FX pairs, stock market index uh, that I will be looking at. So very easy to go through as well and some stocks I'm looking at. By the way, you can download all my personal watch lists for free in order to import them to your TradingView platform. You just have to click on the link in the description. Number three is setting alerts. So you may already know that you can set up alerts on TradingView uh, to get notified on a certain price. So this is gold. If I'm looking for, let's say, a breakout to the upside and I want to be notified if gold reaches uh, 1710, I can just click on that little plus. OK, add alert for gold and that's it as soon as gold reaches that level i'll be reminded okay we can go into edit and the thing i recommend is send email notify on app so your phone will ding uh, your laptop will ring you'll receive an email and you can also um, send email to sms so you can also receive it as a text message so very efficient in order to um, plan your day and not be all day in front of the screens now, the second way you can also use alerts is with a specific trend line, which is super, super powerful. So let's say I'm waiting for a retest of this trend line on gold. I can literally just click on um, that trend line. You will see here I have add alert. I can just click on um, gold crossing that trend line only once, create, and that's it. You have the little logo. As soon as price reaches that trend line, my computer will ring and I will know. By clicking on the little alarm logo on the right, you can see all the alerts you have currently running, the ones that are expired, triggered, and the ones currently running. Number four is using the sync feature in order to create different templates. So if you click on that little layout button, you will see that you can have four screens at the same time, just one, two, I mean several. So for this, you will need the pro version of TradingView. But let's say you have this, what you can do is sync. So as you can see here, I have pound Aussie up here, gold, I have dollar CAD, and I have Euro Swiss, which are totally non-correlated. Everything has a different um, time frame, and that's what I'm looking for. However, if I wanted to do, let's say, a very specific multi time frame analysis on a certain pair, I could just click on symbol, and that will show me everywhere on Euro Swiss. So I could be on the daily up here, looking at the four hour here, the one hour there, and the 15 minutes right here. So I have a very easy way to look at different things, and as you can see, all the drawings are syncing between the charts and if i decide to change my pair and look at pound aussie for instance it will go to the two app to the daily four hour one hour 15 minutes on all the charts and it's a very easy way to go through uh, multi time frame analysis now tip number five is to create charts layouts using this same principle so you will come to here and you can see that you have new chart layout or low chart, chart layout. So you could create a new chart layout for multi time frame analysis and just make whatever ones you want to create. So I'll show you, for instance, one I do use when I have several screens at work is black, which I call black multi pair. OK, it's a very easy way for me to see with a black background um, what the pairs are doing on a very small time frame. So as you can see, I do have the lines which I don't have on my let's say normal setups so it's a very easy way for me to see that the s p 500 on the 15 minute is trending up um you again did a nice double bottom double top yesterday and yeah just very easy to to see and to have on the top of a screen if you have if you are trading with several screens so definitely use that feature and create different chart layouts for the different maybe types of trading or the different screens you may have now my last tip is to use screeners so in my case i personally trade fx so i will look at fx screeners so you can just go on forex screener um I'll remove my filter, reset, okay. 
And as you can see right here, I can see every single major pair, minor pair, you can select this up here and basically look at the current value. So if you have been trading for a while, you probably know the value of different uh, asset classes you're looking at asset pairs. Um, so that's a very easy way uh, to have this on uh, another screen you may have in order to look at what's going on, what's moving drastically, uh, the bid, the ask, etc. And you can of course remove things, add stuff, um, different single indicators. Um, for instance, I, I may not be interesting in the rating at all. Um, so I'll remove this and yeah, you can just create your own screener, which is very powerful if you do know your values. If you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, etc. And yeah, see you, have a good day.